I don't like me this this Xenoblade Chronicles game. Absolutely hate it. It's awful. Okay. Lies aside, welcome back to stream, everybody. Everybody get down, come on, it's Sam now. We're going to the space jam. Is this really worth Nature the effort? makes a fine ally. Uh I only played a little bit since the last time we streamed. Not really all that much. Not I don't even remember what I did. I think I just showed this game to a friend. It's like, oh dude, check this out. And then they checked it out, are. and it was like, wow. So, yeah, just right back into it then. Just Hello, everybody. Welcome to stream. To look over here. Uh, just kind of right into it today, I guess. I wanted to play some corner. As you can see, it's exactly what we're doing. Um. The ether Clean up. Oh shit, this is Poison Swamp. They're on to us. Aegean is dead. Keep <laughs> Don't aggro Aegean. Don't aggro Aegean! Don't do it! He's- he's done. Aegean's done for. Well, maybe not. Or he's- he's hanging on still. Come on, Adam. What, what are you doing? And Gion got eliminated. You have been eliminated from this game. Ooh, did you see that spin? That was what I call spinning to win. Is it bad that I revived the Geon for more HP than what he started the battle with? I think the answer is yes. I can't switch back to Mithra. I didn't mean to switch to his boy. I want to complete the combo! Nope. Not gonna do it. As friends join. Hey, you guys love the sound of those, uh, sound effects, right? I figured you did. So, I'm gonna do you a favor. I'm gonna do you a favor, since you love them so much, after this battle of never-ending supply of enemies aggroing us. I'll, uh, I'll turn them down for you. So I'm looking at that audio mixer and holy shit, just the sound effects alone is like super loud. Okay. Why don't I give him the first taste? Do it. Give him the first taste. Excellent. I can follow that up. Let's do Laura. Leave it to Laura. Excellent. Yeah, so it's been a couple of days since we've streamed this, I guess I should say. Not that many, but it has been. A few of days. There have been suns and moons that have passed since our last intervenience. That's the word, right? Intervenience. I don't even know what word I was trying to use there. That's how little this brain actually functions. Down. That was a cool art. Flame. Love the way you that. 
was a sight to behold. So then, what is this? Oh, it, it this shit just like rapid kills you. I see. There's one of those Can Barney stones or whatever. It could happen to you too. Hey, hey, uh, Adam. Uh, hey, hey, Adam. Fuck off. Let's see what's over this way. I'm just kind of exploring. Oh, never mind. Let's not see what's over that way. We'll, we'll see that in another life. The ether. So that's the level three stuff around this area. May as well just face up to them now. Fuck off, mate. Mate, you won't, you won't get eaten. I forgot to turn the sound effects down. Remind me. And then eventually, by the end of the stream, on the very last hour, minute, second mark, the deed will be done. Where'd you come from? Where's this what? what? I'm very confused. There is a lot happening on screen right now. Holy shit. Oof. <laughs> My brain can hardly process this. I wanted to play this. Like, all week. Oh. So many sound effects and people talking and... All over the place. Oh, and I'd like to apologize if my commentary is absolute garbage shit today. Uh, I got about, like, four or five hours of sleep. Today. Which isn't awful, but um, we had a maintenance guy come in today, and he was supposed to be here. I, I got a phone call up while I was watching Xenoblade 2 cutscenes with my roommates because Ellie hasn't seen the game and she didn't know if she would like the gameplay but she liked the story so we've been showing her the cutscenes from the game while we were watching these cutscenes I got a phone call from the main office of our apartment complex and they're like yeah so we tried to come by today but we didn't want to call you because it said here that you were sleeping which, I mean, I was. I worked third shift, so, you know, I was sleeping at, like, nine. Uh, but I also put on the paper when we moved in, I said, look, I'll be sleeping, but if you gotta come in, don't hesitate. And just, just do it. Come in, do your shit, get out. <laughs> But they're insistent that I have to be awake for it. <laughs> I, can't, I can't just leave the maintenance guy to do what he does. No. So, I had to supervise the maintenance guy who already knew how to do his job and didn't actually need my supervision. So instead I, I, I drew some pictures. But, that's beside the fact. Um, so yeah, maintenance guy comes in, or I guess I'm getting ahead of myself here. He called, so, phone call. Let, let's, again, I'm tired, listen. <laughs> I'm tired. Launch. So, right, phone call, they're like, well, we can come in tomorrow, which would have been today, and what time, what time works best for you, they asked me. I said, oh, you know what time would work best for me? 
Uh, how's about... We do... Eight thirty, I said initially. How the fuck are there so many enemies? Jesus. And they're like, oh, okay, well, eight thirty then. Okay, well. Our maintenance guys, or actually no, initially they told us 8.15. I'm like, that works, because that's like very shortly after I get home from work. So I'm like, that, that works extremely well. What the fuck are you pushing me for? <laughs> I think I just kind of need to spam arts when they're ready. Um, yeah, this, this story is taking way too long for something that's not even good. This battle is just kind of throwing me off. Because people, things keep appearing to attack us. I think another thing just aggroed us. Or, no, I think the aggro is just switching around, but still. Fuck. Richard keeps dying. There's another one. What the fuck? What the fuck? I just revived you! Why? What the fuck? I- I don't even know what that battle was. What the fuck was that battle? We shall do better this time. I didn't even have a chance to process anything that was happening in that fight. Just things kept appearing. Am I not supposed to go down that way? Plenty to be getting on with. Let's roll. No, no, I'm gonna go this way. They're on to us. No, fuck you. I thought I was over leveled, but it turns out I'm like right where I should be, I guess. So, there's that. Anyways, phone call. <laughs> 815. They're like, oh wait, that doesn't work. Our maintenance guys are in the meeting at that time. I'm like, uh, from, like they, their maintenance guys clock in at eight o'clock and they're in a meeting all the way till 8:30 apparently. So I'm like, okay, well that's fine. I mean, I don't know what maintenance dudes are talking about. You know, call them up, go to the meeting. Yo, Tad, did you, did you, did you, did you ever fix those, those guys' door, door handles? Uh, no, Mark, uh, I haven't been there today, but, you know, I'm gonna probably, probably go later today, you know, how it is, uh. They just keep saying that same conversation, though, over and over, because they have nothing else to talk about. Great, Jay. It was a cool level four. So, 8.15 doesn't work. So they say, alright, 8.30. I'm like, okay, that works. Same, this is all the same phone call. And then, the chick's like, well... What, what works best for you? Even though I already just told her, told her that 8.30 was fine. Like, she asked me if that was fine, I said yes, and then she said, what's best for you? I said, well, I guess earliest, earliest they're available. She said, okay, well, we'll have you come in, we'll have them come in at 9. The fuck happened to 8.30, lady? I'm, I'm, I'll be, I'll have to stay up. For you to have your maintenance dude come in. 9 9 o'clock. I'm like, okay. They're on to us. Guess what, guys? 9 o'clock hits, the guy's not here. Fucker doesn't show up till 10 o'clock. 
It takes two hours to add a doorstop to our front door and replace my doorknob on my bedroom door. That's all he did. Two hours, guys. I don't know why it took him that long. I wasn't even really paying attention to the time myself. I was just trying to keep myself entertained while it was all happening. But... As soon as he leaves, it's like... Oh, not two hours on the dot, I should... I should clarify. Technically speaking, it was like an hour and a half. This is some giant ant holes. If I would have thought any better, I thought these things would have been like the Queen Arachnids. Like that bitch that killed Ryan. Oops. Ryan dies. Ryan dies in Xenoblade 1, guys. It totally happens. I'm sorry, but I just had to let out these massive spoilers for you. Let me excavate. Okay. So what you got? Down here. Don't have to tell me twice. What about three times though, Jin? Hey guys, guess what I just remembered. See, if this doesn't show you how how like operative that's a word my brain is today. Maybe I should have stayed in bed. <laughs> I told myself to wake up early so that way I could actually get shit done today. So I didn't actually get to bed till noon. Which is awful for me. Like I'm, I'm supposed to be in bed at like 9 o'clock at the latest but usually about 8 o'clock. You know. Where is it? Sound effects. Let's turn it down again. Really? It's already super low, and it's that still that loud? Gee. I mean, at that point, you might as well just turn down the audio on the mixer. Okay. I do like how Xenoblade games let you, like, custom- or at least this one did. I don't remember if the previous ones did. Uh-oh. We have a dead- Oh no, you're alive. <laughs> you need water. Try not to die- what the fuck? Mithra. Mithra. <laughs> Some water should sort you out. Wow, thanks. Try not to die. No shit, Mithra. What do you think she's doing? Oh look, it's a letter. Oh. Goodbye. I don't know who that was. Oh, it was Hugo. Oh, an avocado! What is he doing over there? Oh! Emperor! Emperor, what are you doing? Why is he squatting at light speed? Is he just getting his, his like, training routine in? What the fuck? Ah! I feel so much better. You really saved my bacon thing. By the way, when I, when I don't stream this game, when I just play... I mean, not specifically Torn, I haven't really played it that much off stream. But... Like, when I'm not streaming this game, I have, like, no bugs. Like... I mean, sure, all this stuff is just visual stuff. But still... Like, what the fuck? 
Though dream implies it might not actually happen, eh? Believe me. Believe you me. What? Wait, what the fuck? Believe you me. It's definitely gonna happen. It has to. What does that mean? Nintendo, my brain is like fried. This is crack. This is your brain on drugs. It has to. I was feeling pre pretty ravenous, so I chowed down some cu couple of red pollen orbs I found in a green barrel. But then my body got really hot, so I gulp gulped down a whole bunch of water. I waited for my partner, but they never came back. When he ran out of food and water, I thought I was gonna die. Why didn't you just go back to the capital? I didn't want to give up my lead. Legends say that the desert has gold just lying around all over the place for anyone to take. My partner made it out here before anyone else. The Adam. Is it true about the gold? Ask any torn in school child and they'll tell you that, that it is. No more than a legend then. Should have known you were non-believers. Steady on, we're not doubting you. We didn't come all the way out here to dig out, dig of some childhood fairy tale, you know. I've got a machine that tells you exactly where the gold is. I see. Wow, look at that machine. So that's your hidden weapon. Precisely, my partner hold it up in a load of salvage. It needs a gravi gravitonic clutch, and it should be up and running and sniffing out gold like nobody's business. Machine doesn't look that amazing to me. Uh-oh. Oh, it's this dude. Sorry, didn't do this slightly late. Slightly? I nearly shriveled up and died of thirst out here. Biggest apologies. Oh, wait, it's you! My, my friends are the same friends who helped Undyne before. Fancy meeting you here. In a sec, you... Dundan, you know these people. Yes, yes, friends were big help when Dundan needed to get Gravitonic Clutch. Well, small world, eh? This is no time for idle chit-chat, no siree. Need to get the Fortune Finder Matron 4000 up and running. Don't that on it. See, look, I don't have a brain of peas anymore. It's now upgraded to green bean. All done. Does it work? Does it work? When switch on, machine will run all over the desert and find gold when buried in the sand. Probably. Well, pretty impressive. It's some super high-tech wizardry, that's for sure. Right then, Dandan. Dan. My old matey, time to close our eyes, cross our fingers, and dream of gold. Switch on now! Well. I'm pretty sure that's just like a... Oh, it's back. No mind. The Roomba has returned. Do that. I noticed that Fortune Findermatron failed to Findermatron any fortune. Meh meh. It turned out Dundon's self-taught engineering skills not sufficient. You bloody noobon! I sunk every last penny of my savings into modeling the FF4000. It better produce results and fast. Machine need remodel by expert. Like crazy inventor who live in capital or anyone. Please to not pressuring Dundan anymore. He seems to have cracked a little. Hey, please help me out. Dundan has already lived, outlived his usefulness. So you've all I've got. To tell you the truth, I'm a little bit curious as to whether there's any gold in the desert, so why not? Yes, indeed. Consider my interest peaked. Okay, then. Let's go and find someone who's good with machinery. What? 
You kidding me? Mate. Matey, what are you doing? I needed you! So I can get to level two! Thanks. You're cool. You're my favorite. It's not my fault that you're a fucking bad salvager. You supported us up until now. No. No. No, I don't want you. Go away. Go away. There's treasure right there. Hey, Antol. Go away! Go away. What? Why? He's still aggro. There we go. Jeez. Yeah, fuck off, mate. Yeah, what you gonna do, mate? What are you gonna do, mate? Yeah, that's what I thought. Also, I don't know if you're still here, Tonio, but what the fuck do you mean Pe Club Penguin is still dead? I ju I only just now saw that. How old is that chat message? Hang on, let's see. Uh, I can't really see, but I think it's probably been there for a little bit, hasn't it? Where the treasure be, yeah? Buried down here. Don't have to tell me twice. Let's just open it. That's the treasure, huh? Is, is that really the capital? Oh no, I see. There's like a little forest before we get there. I was like, are we already there? I thought this area. Oh! I say no. We can wow! You want to make it wow! I don't know if I can get out of this. No! <laughs> wow. Let's tread a little more carefully this time. Well, I guess this takes us back Do here to you. And while we're over here, let's see. How much bonus XP do I have? Hang on. We've got some crafting. Let's get down to business. Shall we get started? Hugo's gold detector. Success. Alright, how how many levels? Thirty-seven. I guess there might be things I don't know yet. You can go up to thirty-eight. Who are you? Thirty-seven it is. It's but a drop in the vast ocean of possibility. We have to move ever forward. I don't wanna make them all different levels. I thought I was over leveled, honestly. But everything here is aggroing me. I mean, I, I like to do fights, but not when literally everything and his brother and his family and his uncle decides to join in on the fun. But you found the treasure, really? So that Nopon was telling the truth after all. Hope you won't hold it against me for bothering you with my little misunderstanding, will you? And thank you ever so much for getting to the bottom of my little mystery, even if it wasn't much of one. Like I promised, the treasure's yours. That's an easy quest. This quest was literally, hey, go do this field skill. This level one field skill. Thanks. I'm glad to have been of service. Difficult quests. I can't handle the difficulty curve in this game, guys. I 
I just love... Uh, one thing that Xenoblade has always done right, in my opinion, is it always gives you a lot to look at in the background of things, right? We've been found. Like I can I can pan the camera like this and you will and you'll have a lot to look at right now You've got the capital way out there in the distance. There's that weird towering peak thing that I'm curious about And I mean you've got the wings of the actual Titan itself as well Boom This thing moves around a lot. Zero blade. Sephiroth is my favorite character in Xenoblade Chronicles, yes. Thank you. No one asked me that, but I, I just wanted to say that. Fuck up that wolf. Don't forget me. Don't forget me. Was that I wonder if that was intentional actually. He is Ardanian. So, um, magnificent enemy. His now. voice actor, Minoth, is actually new. We have a new voice actor for Minoth, which kind of makes sense because you know he's younger, so you'd want to get someone who could play the role better. I didn't actually realize it at first, though. It sounded, you know, the voice fits the character. Is this really worth the effort? Like, this guy sounds like Minoth, or Cole, I guess, from Xenoblade 2, nice but just how I would imagine him sounding younger. Like, I don't really feel like the voice is different, but it is definitely different. That kind of threw me off. Okay, what? What is it with this game and surfaces? Why? Why do we not accept surfaces for the way they are? Just bump them off and we'll be dead. This is surface inequality. Launch him, mate. No, oh, just barely. Tried to switch. So I've, I've noticed that sometimes. You try to switch, and sometimes it just doesn't go off. Oh, hello, Hugo. 
I guess we'll fight these things since they just don't want to unaggro us or figure out how to go up the slope. Give him the ice. Down! Give him the ice! Terminal flesh. You better hold on to a driver like her. Yes. I don't need you to tell me that. Ooh. Wouldn't a terminal flesh be something that Mithra is always doing to us? I mean, she is exposing a lot of skin. Is this really I know the effort? Hello. Oh, you're only three levels above us. We can try this. So, in the OST version of this song, it's a little bit different. Which, by the way, I, I um, was looking for new ringtones for my phone. So I could work, wake up to something else. Because lately, I've noticed I haven't been waking up to my alarms. Like I'm sleeping through them because I'm just used to the sound of them or something. I don't know how it works So I was like, well, maybe I can get some new new sounds new alarms And I just so happened to find that All of Xenoblade 2 It's uh, the original soundtrack for it is available on iTunes Like officially and you know I like supporting music. I'm not a pirate. I mean, most of the most of the video game music that I listen to is like on YouTube, and that's like the only way that you can listen to it, or to just play the game. I mean, but like. Give me triple heat is not enough. So At least it's like really easy to get elemental orbs off on these things. Let me finish this combo. I guess this can work. Blade combo, third stage. Spiral snap. I'm gonna get some dark combos off. I don't know what dark combos into. Where'd he go? Oh. <laughs> I think yeah, dark combos with itself. And it also combos with light, now that I know that. Now, the question is how do you end the combo? Wait, why don't you topple, mate? Okay, so you can't use Volt. Oh, hello! Switch back. 
Okay, so it's you gotta do three darts, which I'm surprised I did. With just Minoth alone. Unfortunately, it's a little bit too late to seal reinforcements. I'm not even sure if sealing is part of this. We gotta get rid of these little dudes. But anyways, as I was saying, <laughs> the um, soundtrack for this, this song is different for some reason. I don't remember what it's called. I think it's called like, Those Who Stand Against Our Path. Or something like that. Ooh, Hayes, please switch. Hayes, please switch. Thank you. <laughs> or it has died. If we can just... Get a little bit more of that party gauge. Wow, Bridget, no, why? What happened? <laughs> if we can fill up the party gauge, we'll be able to do a really nice chain attack now, because we've got plenty of element orbs on this dude. That's the problem, is now we got to build up the gauge and not have anyone fall. So... How? Stop dying, people! Yeah, I do. Are we gonna really do the same combo twice in a row? Yep, we are. But what are you doing? There's a reason I am special inquisitor. I know this isn't a real combo, but I'm doing it so we can get the party gauge built up. Okay, here we go. Okay, so we don't have any overlapping elements except for water. I think if I have Adam attack, it's the best chance I can get because he'll pick as long as he doesn't pick lightning or or light or dark, we should be good. Good. We can do this now. Oh, we also have fire, that's right. So yeah, we can do this. Elemental burst. That's always the biggest hurdle is getting over the first elemental or break. Magnificent. Magnificent. One. Magnificent. This is far from over. Jen, I need you at Zero blade. Magnificent. Keep it going. Wait, why did you not extend, Hugo? Elemental burst. How about another round? Magnificent. Uh, let's do Minoth again. There we go. Wash, rinse, repeat. Ice revolution. Elemental burst. We're getting real close. I am as relentless as the tides. 
Who are you gonna attack? You gonna attack the ice? How about another round? Magnificent. Mithra. Mithra. Magnificent. Obstinate thing. Haze. Haze, deal with it. Begin. There we go. Overkill and full burst. Full burst. We're gonna see their level four. Nice. We've got a pouch expansion kit as well. Nobody appears hurt. We work together like cookies and cream. Ooh, I like cookies and cream. I almost do not want to turn it on our foes. I agree. Cool. So let's see. Who do we want to expand? Your pouch is already expanded. So <sighs> I think Hugo's would be more useful to expand but Adam has Mithra guys so oops is this really worth the effort well I'm glad I accidentally stumbled on this cave then <laughs> There's a clear structure to this lock. Slow and steady. I don't have to come back for this. Let's have a look. Then. I know the trail. Give me them insects. Give me them sweet, savory bugs. Oh, there's more to this, huh? He did it all the way on his own. Good job, Jin. Is this really worth the effort? Not really. But I'll make you think that it is anyways. Oh, what's this? Cherry blossom? Magnificent, isn't it? Turquoise plateau. Whoa. As long as I live. What is this? Let's have a look Nature this makes is like a little cut segment of Uriah or like Satoral Marsh even <laughs> what's the difference hey <laughs> hey it's not so secret is it considering you can just see that bridge there What's up here? Is there anything worth our time? I mean, obviously it's a secret point, so that's a boatload of bonus XP. Just bump them off and we'll be hey, guys, Xenoblade 2 Torn of Golden Country is already better than Xenoblade Chronicles 2. You want to know why? Because the secret areas in this one are actually secrets and not mandatory locations that you have to discover four times throughout the story. I wish I was kidding. Plenty more where that came from! Good. Well, since we just expanded our pouch, why not? Let's go equip some stuff. Now, what would the emperor like? Your manuscripts no. never cease to amaze, Minna. But Bridget likes it, so let's see. Nah, no, neither of them like books. I'm just going to replace that same one. 
and say... You know what? I bet one of them likes Tailsmans. What? No, really? What do they like? Oh, wait, Mithra likes two types of food. She doesn't even like a specific type of item. I didn't even realize that until now. Oh, so they probably like... You know, Adam seems like a fish dude. <laughs> Do you like anything, my dude? What? What do what does he like? Thank you. There we go. Be sure to savor it. I guess they both Please. like the same stuff. What the fuck else would Minos like though? Would he like cake? No. I'm quite a fan of these. Okay. He likes honor, charms. You could say. Oh, I know something that the Emperor likes. Emperor likes perfume. <laughs> Let's see what, what, what cologne we've got. These are all perfumes. I'm sure if there's something that ends up saying cologne for it, that's probably the Emperor's favorite. That's what I would guess. And I don't know how I got lucky with guessing. Literally, these have all been guesses as to these favorite items. Like, I completed gins entirely. Same in Haze, I got the wildflower salad, which I think was a part of her affinity chart. What else would she like? You know, I could probably just look at their affinity charts now that I think about it. Ooh, you've upgraded. More grow right. Who wants to go digging? I do. I can't afford to fall behind. I wish only to use this in the service of his majesty. Thank you. This should be good. That sounds like something I would say when I just don't have anything else to say at all on the stream. This should be good. You can rely on me. Fine. I got your back. Okay. So what do you like, mate? Perfume. Get money. He likes perfume, guys. Didn't you know? Wasn't it obvious that Minoth would enjoy perfume? I mean, you gotta smell nice, I guess. <laughs> I personally don't wear any colognes or any of that. Because I think they, most of them just smell like shit. I don't think we have the one that he said he liked. But maybe he likes just in general. Ooh, yeah. Someone's got good taste. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, n neither of you like perfumes. Okay. Well, we would have fish filled out. She likes meat. You like veggies. Nah. What does Jin make? Jin makes food. That's right. I was gonna say, probably Laura likes what Jin makes. And Jin does cooking. What a fascinating story. Wow! Oh, and Wilson wrote that one. Wow. I expect a great Nature discovery. makes a fine ally. I want to go to that capital. I want to go to that capital. But I know once I go there, I gotta just do quests. 
I haven't even explored half of this place. I want to know what's over there. What are they hiding from me? <laughs> we'll go there eventually. Oh, look, you can see the dock from that one place. That one place. TM. I expect a great discovery. Oh, I did not mean to fall off. Do not get careless. But that's what I do best, mate. People tell me to just be myself. There we go. We did it again. I don't think I'm supposed to be. Oh, nope. Based on them camera movements, I can, I can concur. This is not where we're supposed to be. Okay. What are you doing walking on top of your brother like that? What the fuck? This spark lights the flame that will consume them. Oh my goodness, guys. I can't handle this game. What is this place? I saw this glowing light and I want to know what that is, but I don't want to fight anything. Lake Wind. <laughs> More like when are we gonna play a different game, Surge? No That's one likes this game. What is this? Nature Reserve. Yo, wait. Isn't this... Oh yeah, this is this city. I expect a Nature great makes discovery. a fine ally. I didn't actually think that these would be connected. I thought that this was just going to be like its own segment of the world. No, it's actually connected. It's real. Unfortunately, this means that the path is closed, so we can't exactly just come back here. I mean, we can fast travel, but still. Nice. TM. So is up here where Mithra and Adam were? Or like, where were they when we met them? Were they up there? I'm not sure. Also, there's a chest on top of that roof. I want that. I hope your contents will serve nope. us. Can't have it. This is disallowed. And now we're down here. Oh, but we can go up to the middle. It looks like from here. Hang on. Look at this. There's like a path off, off to the side here. Sacred staircase. You can count on me. What is this place over here? I've only ever read about this place, and a fine locale it is, too. All the way up to 41 already. See what I mean about this game? Like, it's like super easy to level up. More honed with each day. Just an hour ago, we were like level 32. <laughs> and we're already at 41. 
And I haven't really done any grinding. As a matter of fact, I've been avoiding fights. So, yeah, I kind of like this. I can appreciate a game where you don't have to grind. Alright, well, I guess we'll have to come back here later. For the record, I was spoiled a little bit. Because, uh, Twitter bitches don't know how to keep their mouth shut. So, thanks, I guess. I'm not gonna say what it is, but I believe it has to do with that location. I think I know why we have to go there later, but I won't say. So, uh, actually, no, it wasn't even Twitter. It wasn't even Twitter. It was the name of someone's stream that I follow. So, yeah, thanks for naming your stream. It just... Thanks for naming that. I totally knew that was gonna happen, dude. It was totally obvious, dude. You can count Nature on me. Nature makes a fine ally. So yeah, this is this is where that this is where that was. What might you be hiding? There's a clear structure to this lock. Slow and steady. I expect a great discovery. You've got your hopes too high, Jian. If you're just gonna expect great discoveries just like that, you have to earn those things. I'm gonna Skyrim this wall, by the way. Don't mind me. We're gonna see what happens when the when you cross this. Because the game designer is totally meant for you to do this. See now, I think what's interesting is after playing this game and the original Xenoblade for so long, or Xenoblade 2 I should say, I think it will be very interesting whenever I do decide to play Breath of the Wild again, like fully through. Because the freedom that that game has... Okay, bye Jin. ...really lends itself, like, really well. I mean, I don't really feel restricted by this game. Necessarily. I can't smash. Becky! Oh well, you actually did it. Where'd Jin go? Oh, there you are. Why'd you die? Did you fall off? I bet he fell off. I don't think there's anything we can do. I think it's just Heaven's Bolt that can be finished with this combo. Ray of Light, top! We're gonna kill it before we finish that. Oh, there it is. Ooh, nice camera. Yeah. Let me just get that ass shot. Save it for later. Well, see, I told you it'd be worth our time to Skyrim climb. You could put me I'm better something use. of an expert. I like the colors here. This kind of reminds me of Earth Sea a little bit. Just the yellow grass. Just Alright, well, that's what's over here. Now I know. 
Now you know. Oh, it looks like that tower thing is just an obstruction of the wing or whatever. Not a real place to visit. Fuck off, mate. I don't want it. What the fuck? <laughs> oh. Okay. Thanks, mate. so bright and colorful. Actually kind of hurts a little bit. It's so bright. It's not like the brightness per se is up, but just like all the colors on screen. It's just like, ah, my eyes can't handle this. And I also have full color range enabled on my switch and my TV. So in this TV, T TV, TV, especially is like really high contrast. You could put me I'm sure I could turn it down, spray. but... You know, I, I kind of like the way it looks. I think it looks just right. So here we are. Turns out we've been living in Japan the whole time. Darn you, Nintendo. Trying to make me move to your people. Shepherd's Cornet. You could put me I'm something use. of an expert. Um, excuse me, it's Cornet? You could yes, you go to the buffet. Eat the chicken at the buffet. So this is the capital, huh? Apparently there's a lot of NPCs here. What a terrible I don't know how true that is. I would assume it wouldn't be wrong. I don't see why it would be. But, yeah. Prepare for side quests and make it double. We have to play as Hinoka because we're going back. We're going back to, um, what's the name of the place in Fire Emblem? Hoshido. I had to think about it for a second. Hello, children. Aren't we intrepid? Aren't we intrepid? Oh, now they're encouraging me to Skyrim climb. How else do you get that? Oh, I see. There's a path around. Aren't we interested to the sound of my voice? Ooh, listen to this music. This is some good, good tunes. Remember that thing I said about the desert and That's how it never right. came up? What's not right? This Titan. Why isn't it in its real form? What? Well, you noticed. What do you mean? That isn't the original form of the Torn and Titan. What does that mean? In ancient times, the Torn and Titan held awesome power. What? Torna made use of that power to dominate all the rest for a thousand years. What the fuck? You just annihilated a titan! What did what these, all these titans do to you, Torna? But the power was shut away in the reign of Aleptos I. Since then, the Titan has looked like this. See that glowing sphere in the castle tower? That forms the seal. And Malice is gonna destroy is it. Is that what Malice is aiming for? Yep. 
Why would he do that? Wouldn't it be a threat to him too? Truthfully, I don't know myself. But in any case, if he makes a move for it, it is clear what we must do. We must stab him in the boot. You can see the palace in the distance. Really? That's the, that's it, huh? Offer our report to His Majesty. I I didn't notice. Wow. A little quiet. Not very many people around. Oreska, royal capital. Rustic. All right. Well, we made it to Oresco. I mean, we could have been here a little bit sooner, but I took a little bit of time. But now we must speak to people. Yeah, another day of overfilling my belly. But I'm no done eating yet. Them delicates finery eating corn and just about filling your face. Until I got to savor a legendary dish from that famous chef, my trip can I be over. I came all the way from Moradain to tickle me taste buds with their legendary tastes. I'm going to get some of Miss Sorrel's cooking and make this trip worth my while. New customers, hello, welcome to the best restaurant in the capital, if I do say so myself. Look at those green bean textures. Those are green beans. Although I have to admit, I've had a bit of a rough time lately and it's affecting my cooking. I'm lucky to have regulars who eat here all the same, but I don't want them to be satisfied with less. Uh, sorry, anyway, were you looking to have a meal? I'll cook, but I can't really recommend anything. Yes. Make me food. That's not the shopping ward. Now it's the shopping ward. That was the back of her, of her pizza hut, mate. Hello there, youngsters. Welcome. Are you looking for any instruments in this particular fine day? For beginners, I'd recommend Torn and Vili, or you'd be serenading your friends with no time at all. It's got so many strings, it's so simple to learn. There are also many good songs for beginners. It's a winner. Once you've learned some pieces, you can join and assemble. It's a good way to improve in a hurry. We've even got a special event where people play the Torn and Vela to express thanks to the Titan. It's not an event to be missed. The music spreads through the air, so delicate yet so strong. So I'm guessing there's no shops to be bought out. Shit, look. Two quests. Can't handle this. Too much to do. What do you got from the old lady? Oh, so severe so in this city, but everyone carries their own worries around, and that makes us all alike. Wow, that was an awful old lady. If yeah, someone came and asked you to help you your money, that's because you empathize with them. Empathy is something that people you never get. If you want to, you can dance if you want to. Okay, sorry. Apple juice awaited my throat. Not going to name name, but there are certain countries where drivers use blades like the disposable items. And it's not just down to the humans either, the blades just go along with it. It's like it's meant to be that way. So weird. Surely it's not right to say that some deserve to be treated with less respect because of the things they can't control. Take Torna. It's peaceful as anything, and humans and blades and titans live together in harmony. Sometimes I wonder if it, I made it, it's made Torna a bit too soft. Doesn't Torna have like something? You're coming with me. Where um. You're coming with me, treasure. 
like the blades and titans are like equals or excuse me the blades and the humans are equals I'm not sure exactly how it works but I have some back of brain memory that that is like something that Torna does Oh, hang on. I'm getting ahead of myself. I didn't even talk to this fella of quests. The loopy inventor. Inspired youth, stay right to where you are. You have a look around. That tells me you might be interested in my most marvelous inventions. Yeah, look, I've... Hiccups. I've got hundreds of hiccups. More ordained. Absolutely nothing on my masterworks, I tell you. I am nevertheless at somewhat of a loss as now to surpass my former genius. What with war on the horizon, it's been getting more and more difficult to find the parts I need. So now I've laid my woes bare. Could you perform, perchance help the great Gideon collect some machine parts? I believe the ones lying around here in Torna should be choice enough. I said I'd do it, so consider it done. What do you want? You want some pots? Oh, these ones are real good. What about these ones? Pretty good. Pretty good. You know what? I only have one of those. There. Excellent work, a fine haul you have there. I extend my gracious thanks. At long last, I can now put the finishing touches to my ultimate creation. Ooh, 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 ooh. I call it Gladian's special patented perpetual music box. As the name suggests, it's just one turn of the key and it'll play music forever with no interruption. Mm hmm, well, says you want to know how to stop it, well... <laughs> that's a good point. I've not thought of a good way yet. Uh, I think that's a problem with future Guardian to wrestle with. It took us till 30... 3558 to make music boxes that don't stop. Mate, it's called a record player. Or a CD player. Or anything that plays music. My next masterpiece will address any and all minor flaws which my last masterpiece may or may not have had. Lots of parts. You can find those parts around Gormot. You want more parts, eh? I can give you some more parts. With this geometry key. About this ripple lens. For scarlet coal. What about this alloy sheeting? Or this bat inch? Marvelous. Looks like all the parts. Wow. Jamming megaphone. Perfectly tuned mechanism cancels out any noise from the surroundings and magnifies the user's what Isn't that just what normal megaphone is? Wait. And surely everyone loves the sound of their own voice, so there's no need for an off switch. Uh, <laughs> health and safety. Health and safety guy for Smash, by the way. Reckless endangerment man. He tells you when to not swing your Wii remote into your uh, friend to your left in your couch. Also, be wary of Vass. Thanks to my ingenious. Directionalizing technology, any voice you feed it, no matter how loud, will carry ten peds. Ten miles. I might as just about as thought far as if you shout. Oh, wait. That's pretty much the point. Wait, just as far as you shout. That's not about ten miles. Wait, how, how big is a ped? I thought a ped was like a mile. Well, hang on. There's peds and then there's titan peds, I think. Which might be different. 
Maybe Titan Ped is like... Maybe a Ped is like a meter and then... Titan Ped would be a kilometer? I don't know. Here, take this recipe! Wow. Thanks. People will bow and scrape before me, begging for one of my creations. Thanks, mate. I'm glad to see you support us. Thanks. Welcome. Now we're back to only needing two people. Which I could probably actually go back to that one person in the desert. Now that I made that thing from Hugo. It has been a learning experience. Ooh, level five for Jin. Here we go. Starting to get into the level five stuff now. I still have not. Ooh. I feel my half the battle is living to fight what was another that? day. Fortitude. K. Okay. I need to fight some things. Rat era Rogel. And a Cascade Crabble. Alright, well, I'll do that stuff off stream. Let's see, is there anything we can do? Ether. Extends launch, that would be nice. Standing on the shoulders of Titan. Cool, Hugo, what do you got? 20. Luck is kind of useless in this one, isn't it? I am always learning. Learning. I wish I knew how to learn. Must have improved. Okay. Touch me not. I kind of almost want to save. So I can upgrade. Well. I should probably put these to level 3. It takes time and effort to get this good. I'm getting sharper. Keener. I was going to say I almost wanted to save up and upgrade Hungry Snake again. But yeah, I should probably bring these all to level 3. This one's second nature to me now. I like how his talent art is just transcend. So I'm gonna do something weird here. I'm gonna make him ice. I'm gonna make you back to rock earth. Oh, shit. It's a very rare one, so we'll do it. So, we have less fire. But it's okay. Okay. Just, just stretching a little bit. Pretty much everything's an upgrade at this point. What do you got equipped? Oh, you can go up to 630. You can go up to 714. Damn. I think Jin's our strongest blade. Which, which kind of, you know, it fits. Hearing that from the strongest man in Torna. Wish I had more of these chips, like the good ones.
I want to make you guys good. So we're going to give this one. Wow, that is a lot of block rate. That's really good for them. That is really good for them. 40 percent Jesus. Okay, this is like made for Bridget. Mechanized whips. No question. And then, yeah. That works. Everyone else, what can we give you? Anything? This is better. I think everyone else is like a downgrade mostly if I was to give them this. Yeah, so. I think what we can do is we can take this stuff to a shop and sell it, maybe. This might be a little boring, I know. I'm just kind of... I could probably do all this management stuff off stream. But I'm here. Hello, Adam! <laughs> no, I want to sell. Wait, I can sell these? I thought I'm supposed to collect these things though for that quest. I can sell my stuff that I craft. Moon cube. Probably sell a little bit of this cheap stuff, right? Dock. What's even here? I mean, there's a lot that we could sell. I know a Geon's things like sell twenty thousand worth dollars worth of stuff. I don't, I don't really use this stuff. I have to increase while they're like toppled and stuff. That might be nice. Those are nice to keep around. Let's do it by rarity. Prevents affinity loss when a teammate falls. Um... Yeah, I don't really care about that, so we can sell that. Maximum HP. It's all good, some good stuff. Why did Nopon just, like, draw aggro? Is it because they say, meh? You know what? That's why I get mad at them, so yeah. Hmm, that's interesting. We have a lot of these rigid vests. How much stuff have I sold? Have I sold enough to appease you, my son? I 
could definitely sell these. Pretty much, yeah, the rest of these are just trash. There we go. Oh no, it wasn't. It was uh, Minoth that wanted it. For some reason I thought it was a Geon. There you go. Gotta support you young and so Oh, what's it? Oh, you gotta sell 500,000. Get money. Alright, well, we'll do more of that later. Yo, is this an inn? We made it. Good stuff. One of my favorite parts of adventuring. Yo, is this like a proper inn? What the fuck? The world's more dangerous these days. Short rest, wait. Does this do anything? It's just... I can still improve. It's your I traditional level up. You can't do any of the other Tis crafting stuff from camps, but you can just level up. The future is within our grasp. Okay. <laughs> Guys, we, we're within like 15 levels of beating this game. I just realized. It's like... Depending on how long I do the streams. You should see your bed hair. Ah, that worked too hard, didn't it? Depending on how long these streams are, you know, we could only have like two streams left. Why is everyone obsessed with standing on things in this? Like standing on objects, I guess. Can't go to the palace, I assume. No pun. Climb stairs straight up to get to Stasham Gardens, Pride of Capital. From there, friends can head to Aquila Watchtower or Amble over Iris Palace. But not to Miss Gardens, beautiful place of calm and recently traveling bards set up with wonderful music, too. Ah, uh, if gate closed. Ricomo recommend going around and entering from the side of Shopping Ward. Okay, so we can enter from the side. I thought the gate was going to be close because of the quest stuff. I don't know when they make you do that. But there's apparently a point where it's like, oh yeah, you got to do all these quests. Or else you can't. Ugh, yawning, excuse me. I'm v Again, I'm tired. I might not even go much longer with this. this place. What is it? And a fine locale at this Rear gate? Okay. That's fine. <laughs> this is okay. It is alright that there is a rear gate. I am... I am not offended. Alright, that's a lie. I'm slightly offended. How dare they! <laughs> Who was the simpleton? What's this? Oh, You're W. Me, oh, ooh. -woo. Good work, everyone. I'm all adventured out. You must be tired after a day like that. Yeah. Everything that we did today. We, uh, walked over to that gate. That's about it. We went to an inn, woke up from the inn, went over to the gate. You know, I can't blame him, though. I usually sleep this late into the day anyways, too, so. You're coming with me, treasure. But that's... I, I have a reason. I have to work at night, so... Yeah. It's just how it is. If you don't like it, uh... I'm sorry, here's my, uh... Here's my credit card, please hack me. Thanks. Thanks, brother.
Insect loving. Boy, why do you love some bugs so much? Are are you uh Haihachi from Tekken? What what's going on with your head here, mate? Want me? You know, no Minoth is. Tut tut. Whoa! I tell you, there's more insects than meets the eye. There's shiny shells. There's strong bendy legs. Oh. Boiling insects alive. For medicine. What? I think you bring me insects. Got it. Haley, you couldn't come up with a different title. You had to say nuts. You had to talk about nuts. One's worth eight. One's worth eighteen. One of these will be worth like a ton. Nah, never mind. This one's like the highest. It's more than enough. Thank you so much. Oh, you're helping someone. I'm also partial to tinkering with machinery. Let me thank you properly. I'll show you a pretty amazing invention of mine. A new recipe for Hugo. Thanks. Give me a shout next time something happens. Thanks, insect loving boy. It's not the end of your quest, though. You haven't joined our community! Temperamental builder. Apprentice glassmaker. Look at all these titles. Don't have to tell me twice. Now what's behind the box, mate? <clears throat> You're coming with me, treasure. Just a bunch of gold and some cord chips. I could talk to all these dudes. Okay, here we are. You need to focus more. Hello. You wouldn't happen to know who uh, this is, would you? No, you wouldn't, because I'm wearing a mask. You can't see anything behind the mask. Well, here we are. We made good time. Hello, Bray. This is actually a, quite a big city, actually. I said actually twice, now three times. Actually, you see... The actual, actually, actual reason why Axel is in Smash Brothers. Better be good. Lock picking three. We're finally starting to get our level three stuff. To work out how things tick. Do need super strength? Oh, yawning! Please stop. I really just want to wake. Let me wake. That's my roommate, for those who don't know. The one that appeared in chat and then saw spoilers and then left. You did that to yourself. Just so you know. I didn't invite you here. I mean, I said it Axel, which essentially is inviting you here, so... Use 
better be good. I'll investigate. We did the gate open? Oh no, this is the... <laughs> Guys, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm very tired. Oh, we're here. We here. This is the palace, so we could go in if we wanted to. You can dance if you want to. What's over here? Nothing! There is nothing over here! Well, not really much for us to do. Except to uh, just go forward. See what the path ahead lies for us. I said that we have only ever read about this place. About the palace? You're telling me you've never been to the palace? Mate. What the fuck? I expect there must be some sort of emergency. Questor Malthus is also gracing us with his present Oh. A Malthus is here. Why is a mouthy here? Guys, if a Malthus gets sassy with his parents, does that make him a mouthy? Yes. He draws ever closer to the capital. Who are these dudes? Leaving destruction in his wake. Our path here was littered with the wounds of his procession, my lord. So, the Questor's report was true. No, he's, he's sitting right there. At this time of grave peril, Ooh. you have afforded us your trusty aid. Your due will be our eternal thanks. I'm scarcely worthy of it, Your Majesty. As the Titans breathe, I merely followed Prince Adam against the peril we face. In truth, it is to him that your kind praise is due. <laughs> ah, the trust of the dread Ardanian throne. Tis a much valued gift to our young scion of Eletta. Mark it well. Who are you? Me? Why do you look so angry? It gladdens me. You don't look like you're gladdened. Your most noble honors pierce my unworthy heart, my lord. Begging your pardon, lord, would that honor were the only currency in this grave business. An armed band transgressed the sacred boundaries of the capital without regal assent. The act merits bitter punishment. Suppose you that our soldiers can subdue Malos alone? I... I don't... Indeed. The army of resistance fearlessly dashes to our nation's aid. They tremble not in the face <laughs> of the mightiest of foes. To punish them is unthinkable. <laughs> yes, <laughs> but... <laughs> don't mind me. Zeta. What does not bend only breaks. Just drinking apple juice. We must suffer to Adam his just bounty. I hereby enfeef you as Lord of Heblin. This is too much for me, my lord. First, I must busy myself with the command of the resistance force. We can't allow Malos to take the seal. I'd be much obliged if you could grant permission for the resistance to move freely within your lands, Lord. As you wish. Brave soldiers of Torna, hear your king. That dude's a king? Our country must make its own sacrifice. He's not wearing a crown or anything. He doesn't look very regal. Indul too pledges its flesh and blood to the cause. I humbly confess that it was my own lack of foresight which brought us to this pass. Minoth didn't want any of that. He didn't go in. My brother, or rather, my lord, what is your aim? Why give Heblin to Adam? He has declined our offer. Perhaps our good wishes suffice. Yet still, he holds all the power. He makes allies of foreign lords without permission and gathers together a fighting force. Hmm. Zeta, my brother. Hear me well. 
These dudes look straight out of Fire the Emblem. second world rests heavy upon my crown. I fear too heavy for my mortal neck. You don't have a crown. Uh, majesty. And this disorderly throne is more apt for one such as Adam. Brother, you mean to set my birthright on the caitiff's shoulders? See, this is this is Fire Emblem. They're they're even talking about birthrights and shit. That's my best Yanni impression. What's wrong? Got asthma or something? It's all right. There's no need for concern. Lady gets this like this whenever she has to deal with formal situations. That's not. Ideal. You don't want to talk? You've been waiting outside the whole time. Just idling by yourself. That's so selfish. Cut him some slack, Laura. Minoth had a good reason not to go, especially when his least favorite individual was attending. Least favorite. You mean a Malthus, don't you? I'm sorry I didn't. It's fine. I'm a coward, I admit it. We should endeavor, we should endeavor to make sure Minoth steers well clear of the quester in the future. So Adam, what were our next course, what's our next course of action? We may have warned them in time, but there's no telling when Malos might launch his attack. Indeed, we can hardly start by taking a stroll around the city and seeing what the residents have to say. You can't be serious. Matalos is virtually breathing down our necks. Whoops, that's... Why did I press that button? <sighs> and you want to race? Time catching up? <sighs> it's not what this is. We'd get to learn the lay of the land, too. And we get an idea of the overall mood. He's right. Establishing a good report within the residence gives us an edge as the time comes. Perhaps the Aegis feels that she can handle the situation on her own. Fine, whatever. You all know better than me, so go on ahead. Bunch of bullies. I'm not saying it to be mean, Mithra. Thanks for playing Fork Knife. We all have to make conscious ascensions, and now. Even you understand now. You've really matured, you know. Am I supposed to take that as a compliment? You should. Adam's been looking out for you this whole time. You know he's being honest. Agreed. We should. You should take his place at face value. Now, let's set to exploring the city. Plenty of atmosphere to soak up. Good. Absolutely mental. Oh, look, another slate piece. That one was hidden. So. Alright, so now we have to get it to level two. Well, here we are. It shouldn't we be that bad. Time. Soldier! Good travelers, can I ask you something? I'm not sure if you've noticed, but the lantern at the side of the gate has gone out. Doesn't that bother you? Which one? You seem... Seem like they're fine to me. Not really. What do you mean, not really? You're just like my brother then. He said it was fine as is. Still, hear me out. See, I'm supposed to monitor the area, so I can't afford to leave my station, not even for a second. As for the guy next to me, well... He's my brother, but for reasons I'd prefer not to go into, I'd rather not ask him. You can talk to him if you want. You'll soon understand. In any case, I've got to do my duty and keep watch over this place. 
I'm stuck at my post. The lantern's out of reach. You've probably guessed where this is going. Do you think you could lighten up my life for a little? We'd be more than How many porn and soldiers to change a light bulb? I wonder. Oh, this lamp. Oh, I see. Wow. I saw the whole thing! Awesome work. You really brightened up my day. It takes care of that matter then, which brings me to the next one. See, there's actually a bunch of lanterns that have broken down around the capital. I happen to notice while well, a lot of them, you gotta turn on all the lamps. Thanks. Oh god, which ones are quests? Okay. Just gotta look for the lamps. There are so many text things on screen. I don't want to accept too many quests at once. I'd prefer to do them all slowly. Okay, and then there's one back here, I guess. 200 meters away. Excuse me, 200 peds. Where's it at? Oh, all the way over by that gate. Let us keep our wits about us. We can't dally all day. There's something over here. There's a white treasure. Oh no, that's red. Oh, you know, but we turned on all the lights. Hey there, did you miss us? We fixed your faulty lanterns. Remind me why we're the ones running around doing odd jobs for this guy. Let's try to put things into perspective, Mithra. It's good for the people. Right, thanks a bunch. It's a load off my mind. It could have been a while. Could have got around to fixing those. Yo, Chesley. Bro, what's up? If the lanterns were bothering so much, why don't you just ask me? I could have fixed them for you. Nah, I didn't want to have to rely on you this time. I've been relying on you most of my life, ever since mom went. Oh. What the fuck? Have you got a minute? Sarge! Not a barge in, but I got urgent news to tell you. Chancellor, you're promoted. Come join the squad. What the fuck? Is that how this works? But I'm... Uh... What did I do? You went and fixed those lanterns. None of my men in my regiment even took notice of them. Proof enough to show your dedication is to bettering the lives of our citizens. Uh, that may be so, but it actually wasn't me who repaired them. It was these kind travelers. Well then, travelers. Would you like a place in a race? <laughs> Thanks, but no. <laughs> Very blunt. We may have repaired the lanterns, but Chancellor Dolly here was the one who asked us to fix them. In all honesty, it's him you should be thanking. I couldn't agree more. The lad's more than talented enough to join my team. Uh, are you absolutely sure about this? What, you don't prefer to stay on guard duty? Did you notice that Sir Joel is a sack of grubless? Come on, Chashley, this is your chance. You can't turn down an offer like this. Bro, you're doing it again. The broker. Sarge! I'm in. Just as long as you can give me a job I can really sink my teeth into. 
There's no shortage of those, believe you me. He said it again, believe you me. What does that mean? What does that mean? British people, please explain to me your language. That's more like it do us proud, bro. You can count on it. Alright. Well. Thanks for the interaction, I guess. This was a weird quest. I just wanted to turn on some lights for this dude. And then he just became, like, promoted to the Imperial Guard. What the fuck? Are you going to be alright without your brother? Totally. I've been trying to work on my way up the ladder for a while. I don't need him hand-holding me. Oh, I see. Well, if that's what you've decided. It is. Again, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. You're welcome. We just need one more. Oh, hello there, sir. What what are you doing there? Mission right behind me. Then. Trying to pickpocket? Trying to pickpocket? Are Gion? I Gion. Oh, hey, it's you. It's been a long time since I've been back, but this country hasn't changed at all. The Torn and Kings always had the favor of the people. But Zedar, next in line, is a real arse. The royal heir he may be, but the man small-minded and only considers his own advancement. In fact, he's the only one who hasn't noticed his own behavior. Such is his foolishness. So, it goes on with those proud types. Well, as cool as it would be to do more quests and... You know, see the world more over. Um, I think I'm gonna... I'm gonna end it here. Where did I put that mouse? Where did that mouse go? Oh, where did that mouse go? Listen, I'm very tired. I would have gone for a little bit longer. But <laughs> I need to fix my sleep schedule. Which I can't even do. But I need to stop yawning. So, I'm gone. Thanks for, thanks for joining. 15 hours in so far, by the way. Looks good.